so today, for my opinion blog, I'm doing them on athletics in college for higher education. So, for athletics, it's not based on the school, it's not run by the school, well it is run by the school, but it's ran overall by the NCAA, and they can, uh, NCAA, except for D2 and D3 really, they really screw over D1 uh, athletes and schools just because of their rules and a bunch of other stuff that they have in place. But for D2 and D3 schools, um, the classes, classes you're always attending, it's not like you're a big D1 school where you're always on the road, you're always practicing, you always have a, a tight schedule. D2 and D3, it's you're like you're a normal, a normal student at the school, you're always a class. Class sizes, I mean, that just depends on the school, that's not really anything, but yeah, you're always a class. Um, your meal plans for D2 and D3, it's just like you're a normal student. You go online, you pick out your meal plan, you pay for it. Unless you're, unless you're a scholarship athlete, I'm not really sure how that works. But I do know for scholarships, only D2 schools have scholarships. D3, you don't get scholarships. D3 is basically just, you're going to, it's like a glorified high school for D3 sports. It's not that it's not that tough. You can probably a lot of D three athletes play two sports if they can. So but D two you only get one sport because you can get you can get scholarships for D two. Um let's see, for D one your meal plan depends on the NCAA rules and that where I that's where when I said they screw you. They really uh when they screw you, they have these rules placed in where you can only have three meals a day, and depending on what you actually eat, it counts as a meal. So like you could go, and you can want a just a, for breakfast like a bagel, that's a meal. And if you want like cream cheese or butter or anything like that, you have to pay for it. So they really screw you over there. I think they're trying to they're trying to change that. They're trying to work on that rule because for me, for meal plans for D1 athletes, they're always trying to eat. You gotta you gotta eat if you're a D1 athlete. You're the top of the top. So you gotta you always gotta have meal plans. Classes, you're not in classes, especially in season. Well, obviously not in season, even in off season. In off season, you're in class, or you're not in class as much. But in season, you're always on the road. And if you're home, you're always practicing. And once you're done practice, you'll get lucky if you get into one or two classes. So that's that for classes. And that's pretty much it on athletics. As much as I could fit in for for this video. So uh, thanks for watching.